Today is water change day. So we're going to go ahead and uh, exchange some of the water out of our aquariums and do our water changes. And we're going to show you how we do it here and our simple way of getting it done. So for us, it really just takes a little bit of time. There's nothing really to it. So we'll show you. With our aquarium set up in the basement, a little easier for us because we just use this python deal. I've got a 50 footer and we literally run this 50 foot python all the way over to our utility room and up into our utility sink. So this is what I do. I just drop this python in the water. I use this clamp to hold it to the aquarium so it doesn't slip when it's, uh, when it's draining or when it's refilling. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go in, I'll turn the water on, it creates that siphon in the laundry room there, the utility sink. I'll create that siphon and once I get a good flow going, I'll turn that water off so that pump doesn't have to work. And then it's just the siphon, it's just a gravity fed that will slowly drain this out. And then I'll drain about a quarter of it, and then I'll fill it back up. Just like that. Watch. So do you guys remember back in the day, the water beds, they had a filler much like this, something that used to fill it and drain it. Um, and this was kind of the, uh, the concept of the python as well. So you hook it to your faucet. You hook this to your this hose that goes back to your aquarium and then when you come in here and you turn on your faucet it creates a siphon or pump the water pushing down pulls the water from the tube and that creates your siphon um so we'll turn it on and get the water to flow through here and then i'll just let it run for a few minutes and then i'll shut the water off and then i'll let the siphon just kind of do its work all right now i'm going to just turn the water off And this will just continue to drain, just like this. Now this will be a good time to clean some of the sand with that uh, with the python, but I've got those geophaguses in there, and they turn that sand over pretty good. And uh, yeah, there's nothing on it. This is also a good time to grab your handy dandy aquarium towel and your little scrubby, and just kind of wipe the glass off. Especially with the water level down, so you can uh, you don't have to get so wet all the way up to your elbow. So I've drained 25% of the water out of this tank, and now all I did is put the valve in there, and now I'm filling them back up, right with tap water, because for many, many years, knock on wood, I've been doing it this way, and I've never had a problem, and my fish grow like crazy, and they seem to thrive and do very well. So whatever's going on with the water system here, it's municipal water, 25% water change, knock on wood, never had a problem in all these years. It is a little noisy down here with all of the water levels being low and the pumps still going. I could have turned them off, but uh, yeah, I just let them go. The water change on this aquarium is done. It's full. We're going to go turn off the water. Now we do the same thing for our 90 gallon. This is probably, oddly enough, my favorite aquarium. I've got, uh, I've got my um, uh, silver dollars in here. I've got a couple of angelfish in here. I've got our. Uh, what do you call it? Our male and female um, guppies. I've got these um, neons. 
I just, uh, I just like this tank. We are at about 25%, so time to fill it back up. And next, on to our 110. Again, same process. Siphon it out. Once I get about a quarter of the water out, I just flip the dial, flip the valve, turn the water back on, and I fill it back up. And that's my water maintenance. I do it every two weeks, and my fish do great. While that 110 gallon tank is draining, this might be a good opportunity to talk about this dehumidifier that I put in here about three weeks ago. Let me tell you, I did a video about it, and I said I would come and follow up on it. If you don't have one of these, go get one. These dehumidifiers, especially if you're running your aquariums in your basement, I'm talking about night and day difference. The first day that I had this down here, I literally filled up the bucket in the first few hours. And then we put the bucket back in, we filled up another bucket, and then ultimately after a couple of days, it got down to where, you know, it's going two or three days before you have to empty it now. But let me tell you, what an amazing difference it made down here in the basement. Comfort-wise, it's warm, it's dry, uh, it's, uh, it doesn't smell. It just, why I didn't do this years ago, I don't know. But I will always have one of these in my basement. That's a fact. We had gotten down to our 25% mark, and now we're filling this aquarium back up. And that'll be it. I'll be done with the water changes. And that's it. Water changes are done. Just like that. Now I take this python and I just wrap it up. And I leave the siphon on for the very last part because it sucks the water back out of this tube as I'm wrapping it up. And that's it. It's wrapped up. And then I'll I'll come back and I'll hang this up in a minute. All done. Just like that. And what did that take me? Probably about, I don't know, 35-40 minutes tops for three aquariums. I gotta fix these here. I bought these lids and I put them on. But I got a cut out for the uh, for the filter return and intake, so I'm going to do that right now. Well, we'll just do it just like this. I like it because it just gives it that nice clean cut. And we'll just put this back on here. I didn't cut it enough, did I? I sure didn't. Well, we'll have to cut it again. Okay, we got these cut. Now we can slide this glass right into place so it fits. That's it. And that's a nice fit over there. And that's a nice fit right there. And these glass lids are good. Now I've got to do the same on this 110 with these new lids. See how it sticks out right here? I gotta cut that back just like I did the other ones. Alright, let's see how this one fits in there. We got this piece in here very nicely, and this piece in here very nicely, but this 110 has a uh, center piece that it needs a piece of glass for, so I'm going to go upstairs and cut a piece out of this plexiglass that I have, whoops, where'd it go? Out of this plexiglass that I have, or a piece of uh, sheet glass that I have out there, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do it right now and get it out of the way. It's this plexiglass, so I'm going to use this cutter to 
try to cut it. Okay, now in theory I should be able to hit this and snap it. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. Alright, it worked. I got a little end piece here I gotta snap off. Alright, I flipped this around, I've marked it. Now I'm gonna score this this side. Alright, get that snug. Let's try it again. Lined up, it's scored. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. And it did. It went right down that cut. Now I just gotta clean this edge up. Hopefully I can do it with these pliers. I am gonna give this edge a little sanding. I say on this edge because if it is sharp, I have kids, and I wanna make sure their little fingers don't get cut. Oh yeah, that smoothed it right down. This is where measuring correctly is important. So let's just see, did we do it right? I hope so, because I don't wanna go back and have to cut it again. There it is, it's in there. But yeah, looks good. Well, that's it. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, we just uh, got our water changes out of the way and uh, got our glass aquarium lids uh, situated and um, uh, fixed our little plexiglass middle piece there. But uh, yeah, pretty simple. That's our routine. I don't have to worry about water changes for another two weeks. Yay. So, um, but yeah, that's what you do. You do your water changes. You got good, healthy, happy fish. Things are great. You've got uh, glass lids. It uh, uh, cuts down on the evaporation that you have and uh, also helps keep the, the temperature of the tanks where they're supposed to be. And the friggin dehumidifier. It is awesome. Ever since I put that thing in here, it has been nice and dry and warm. It's just, uh, if you don't have a dehumidifier in your basement, uh, you should get one for sure, especially if you got 500 some gallons of water in your aquariums downstairs. You should have a, a dehumidifier. They work awesome. Thanks for watching the channel. We certainly appreciate you being here. If you found any part of this helpful, give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you are here or go over and click on this little subscribe button right here. The little fish. Give it a little click and uh, subscribe to our channel and that way you can keep up on uh, everything that goes on in the fish room here as we continue to grow and uh, do some other cool things and get that salt water tank started. I haven't done that yet. That's one of my next projects. Uh, and then I got to put another aquarium over here from where I sold the 75 recently. So lots of stuff going on. There's always be something happening. So we appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. And we'll see you next time on the Jeebo's Garage channel. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, thanks for being here. I'll see ya.